welcome to this week's Desmond Stonder's Wednesday Waffle. I'm going to talk a little bit about some fixes on Desmond, something about upcoming and past videos, and uh, I'm also going to respond, a video response, to a challenge on another social media platform to justify my use of natural resources in the face of global warming. So let's get started. Desmond's fixes. <laughs> Been a busy week. Um, we've sorted the sink. New, well, not new, a used one fitted. You can't get new sinks for 15 year old uh, motorhomes. Um, the light has uh, no seen the light we've had some bulb changes inside just a winter is coming and it will increase the uh, the amount of light we have on the evening in the evening not that we use it mostly we've, we've redone the light because it was dim last year but we spend most of the time with some dim background lighting and candles uh, during the winter but we've got new bulbs uh, many of you will have seen monday's video and the the litter we picked up at uh, ben Aden Forest. On Friday the nicer side of Ben Aden will be in video when uh, we do some forest bathing. Before that though we've got Throwback Thursday this week and uh, this month's Throwback Thursday um, I take a, a different tack to what I've been doing using really old video and uh, I redo some Desmond's Donders um, material but I redo it in the style I do now so I hope you'll enjoy that on Thursday so a topic I wasn't going to actually do um, I touched on it previously on, on in Haber's videos but uh, I feel I have to now as I was challenged I was called out because of the use of diesel fuel to go on our Donders. Well, think about it. We use on average one tank of diesel a month, right? That's an 80 litre tank and I fill it round about 60 litres. We don't let it go empty. So I'm using approximately 60 litres a month, right? 60 litres, two litres a day not even half a gallon okay all the politicians attending their conferences use more than that just getting their jets to the end of the runway it's 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 daft i've, I've said it many times we don't go far we use a little more fuel when we go on holiday but that still comes down to on average a tank of diesel a month I used to, when I was working, use a tank and a half of diesel weekly just to get to and from work. Anyway, let's look at global warming, climate change, or as I call it, the great political con. That sets the scene for what's coming, doesn't it? Global warming is happening. Fact. But how much of it is down to us? The fact is, we're still coming out of the last ice age, geologically speaking, so the temperatures are still warming from that. And if you look back, the information's all out there. If you look back, you can see that hundreds of thousands of years ago, the earth was warmer than it is now. It's that information's out there for you to go and find out. One of the bonuses of the uh, coming out of the ice age, by the way, is Scotland is still raising up after the weight of the ice has been removed because we're on the same plate as england as fast as scotland's moving up it's tilting down at the other end however and what also well we're talking about the ice and the ice age while there might be less ice due to the temperature rising it is also moving around as the magnetic poles shift and the protection from the van allen belts moves so there are different areas 
of ice and we are not being shown the increase in ice in other places. Conveniently we get shown where it's disappearing from. Also sunspots are at a minimum. We're entering another so-called Maunder minimum. Go look it up but it means there are less and less sunspots. Therefore the sun is radiating more energy than it ever has. So more heat reaching the earth, natural phenomenon. However, we should look after our planet. It is currently the only one we have. Undoubtedly, we are having some small effect, but we cannot hold back the rising tide of a naturally warming planet. We can do more about it though, by cleaning up our planet and not wasting what resources we do have. Note Monday's video when it comes to cleaning up. But what, what can I say? Politicians want to keep folk not so much frightened as running scared. Not because they care about the environment, but they want to keep raising your taxes. They want to keep their jobs and have the money rolling in so they can spend it on stuff. Uh, that stuff isn't what always what's needed to be spent on, but uh, it's my opinion that money is at root of the politician's version of global warming. If they were serious, they would remove the international aviation fuel subsidies. Bit controversial when Thomas Cook has just gone belly up. But one of the reasons they went belly up was not the price of aviation fuel. It was their business model. Their business model was to stack it high, sell it cheap. Well, in a world of rising prices, that doesn't always work and they were always trying to undercut the opposition. Somebody has to fall when that is your business model. But aviation fuel subsidies aside, how's about stopping all the travel all over the world for conferences on global warming and taxation, etc, etc, and hold them via video conferencing? Ban motorsports and other sports that cannot hope to become so-called carbon neutral. If fossil fuels are the problem, the issue, it does not belong with individuals, but big business and profit. Now that's going to stir up a few, because I like motor, motorsports as well. But uh, if we were really serious about global warming, or rather if politicians were really serious about it, perhaps these were the things they should be looking at. Not raising taxes on individuals, but corporations and airlines that are massive users of aviation fuel and for other fossil fuels um, and their own use of said to travel around the world to talk about global warming. So as I say, look after our planet. Look after it for the real reason. We've only got this one. Clean up your litter. Stop using single-use plastic. Just look after the environment. It will get warmer. Climate will change. The way we're going about it isn't going to have the slightest effect. Sorry this Desmond Stond has been slightly political and possibly many of you switched off before this point but I promise you we've reached the end. Next week the waffle will be more light-hearted and uh, on a subject of the coming winter because pipes do still freeze. Thank you for watching. Hopefully see you next time. Thank you for watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.